In this video, we're going to learn how to remove the last occurrence of a character from a string using C. We'll declare a car array called string and we'll store into this car array a test string, Microsoft. And what we'll do is remove the last occurrence of the character lowercase o from the string. We'll declare a car variable called to remove to store this character that we're going to remove. So we'll store lowercase o into the variable to remove. Then we'll include the string.h library because this library includes a function called strlen, which is going to return the length of the string. Now in C, each character in the string is stored at an index. So for example, uppercase M is stored at the index zero, lowercase i is stored at the index one, and so on for the rest of the characters in this string. And at the index nine, we have the special null terminator character represented with backslash zero that ends the string. We would say this string has a length of nine because there are nine characters in the string, not including this special null terminator character, which ends the string. Now to solve this problem of removing the last occurrence of this character from the string, what we'll do is use a loop with a counter variable i. Any counter variable i is initially going to be set to the index of the last character in the string. So it's going to be set to this index here, eight, where we have the character lowercase t. And with each loop iteration, we'll check to see if the character in the string at the index i is equal to the to remove character. In this case, it's not. So what we'll do is decrement i, then in the next loop iteration, we'll check to see if the character at the index i is equal to the to remove character. And again, here it's not, we have lowercase f. So i will be decremented. And then in the next loop iteration, we'll check to see if this character here is equal to the to remove character. This time it is because we have lowercase o at the index i. So that's the job of this first loop to find the index of the last occurrence of this character in the string. And we begin by searching backwards through the string because that's going to be the fastest way to find that index. Now it's possible that we go through the entire string and we never find an occurrence of this character. If that's the case, i is going to be set to negative one when this loop is done. So in that case, we're just going to stop because there's no more work to do. We can't remove an occurrence of the character if there is no occurrence of the character in the string. So let's implement this part of the solution. The first thing we'll do is create a counter variable i and we'll set it equal to one index less than the length of the string. Because here we have a string with a length of nine, which means the last character in the string is going to be stored at the index eight. We'll find the length of the string by using the string length function strlen and passing it our string. The function is going to return the length of the string, not including the null terminator character, which we'll store into an int type variable called length. Then we'll declare a counter variable i of type int and we'll initialize i to length minus one. Then we'll create our loop and we'll continue our loop so long as i is greater than or equal to zero. And each time what we'll do is check to see if at the index i, we have the to remove character. If we do, we'll stop the loop using break. Otherwise, we'll decrement i. So i is going to begin here, and then with each loop iteration, we'll check to see if the character at that index is equal to the character that we're trying to remove. And we'll keep moving i backwards. And eventually, i could reach negative one, at which point the loop would stop due to this condition. Otherwise, the loop could stop if we do actually encounter the to remove character like we do here at the index six. At that point, this loop would stop with i being equal to six. So what we'll do is check to see if i is greater than or equal to zero when this loop is done. Because if it is, that will tell us we found an occurrence of the to remove character in the string. So down here, we'll have if i is greater than or equal to zero. If i is not greater than or equal to zero, that means we never found an occurrence of the to remove character in the string. But assuming that i is greater than or equal to zero, we're going to remove the character that occurs at that index. We'll have a second loop, and this second loop is going to begin with i at its current index. And what we'll do is store the character at the index i plus one into the index i with each loop iteration, pulling forward each character in the string by one from the index i plus one onwards. So for example, in the first loop iteration, we'll take this character here, lowercase f, at the index i plus one, and we'll store it at the index i. 
So we'll have lowercase f here. Then we'll increment i by one. And in the next loop iteration, we'll take the character at the index i plus one, which is this lowercase t here, and we'll store it at the index i. So we'll now have lowercase t here. Then again, we'll increment i, and in the next loop iteration, we'll take the character at the index i plus one, which is the null terminator, and we'll pull it forward and store it at the index i. And so we'll have the null terminator stored here. Then we'll stop the loop once i is no longer less than length. So when i is incremented, i is going to be equal to nine, i will no longer be less than length, and the loop is going to stop. Let's implement this now. Down here, we'll have a loop with the condition while i is less than length. And so long as this is true, we'll take the character at the index i plus one and store it into the index i. And we'll increment i by one with each loop iteration. And this should do it. So next we'll put the string. Down here we'll have printf, and we'll have percent %s inside the string to output a string, followed by backslash n for a new line, and then we'll output our string here. Then up here we'll fix our string, we'll make it Microsoft again. And then if we save compile and run the program, we'll get Microsoft here with that last occurrence of the lowercase o character removed. Now, one thing we could do is put this logic inside a function so we could call the function in different places in our program to remove the last occurrence of a character in a string. So up here, we'll declare the function. The function will have a void return type because the function is not going to actually return anything. It's going to modify the string it's passed as an argument. We'll call the function itself remove last. The function will have the parameter car string for the string itself and const car to remove for the character that we're going to remove from the string. We have const here for this parameter because we're not gonna actually modify this variable. And when we pass the string to the function, we're actually going to be able to modify the string itself. Why that is involves topics like pointers and what happens with arrays when they're passed to functions, which is sort of beyond the scope of this video. What I will do though is post a link in the video description, which may explain this further. So we'll copy this, and then we'll supply a definition of the function down here and we'll actually just paste in our logic. So down here, we'll paste this, then to supply the function body, we'll actually just take this logic and we'll cut it and we'll paste it right inside the function body. And because our variable names are the same as our parameter names here, we don't actually need to modify anything. Then we'll call the function. So here we'll call remove last and we'll pass it our string and the character to remove. And if we save the program, compile it, and run it, we'll again get here Microsoft with that last occurrence of the lowercase o character removed. So this is how we can remove the last occurrence of a character in a string using C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.